What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and yes, I lost over 100 pounds, and yes, your girl is still here. And it's not been about losing the weight that's crazy to me, it's been that I've kept it off for almost 15 years. But you know what? It was all about making practical, manageable, and reachable goals. I did this with no trainer, no specific diet program, and no yo-yoing up and down. I knew that if I was going to lose weight once and for all, I had needed a plan that was gonna last me a lifetime. I know I always tell you guys at this point to make sure that you see your doctor or medical professional if you think something's preventing you from losing weight or any other thing you plan to attain. But you need to start somewhere and find out what's going on in your body. What are your blood pain? level saying? What are your blood tests saying? What is everything coming back on you so that you can make a customized plan for your new lifestyle and diet plan? I want y'all to also talk to me. Let me know some of the things that you're trying this year and some of the things that are really working for you. And I know I got some weight loss warriors out there. Let us know some of the things you've done that have stuck for you. And also I want you to let me know any other video requests that you have for me. All items that I talk about can be found down below in that good old information section. Now let's get into this. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. Y'all, I learned to create some ish that was realistic that could last me a lifetime. I'm flexible with my dieting and eating and also my workouts because I know that this is forever. When I tell you, it got real when I realized I couldn't survive on a diet. Every now and again, I'm going to want a piece of cake. I'm going to slip in and out of my mostly plant-based ways and I'm going to get off track sometimes. But I learned to be kind to myself and I also learned that this wasn't for an event, a fad, or an outfit. It was forever. Yeah, I get off track sometimes, but you best believe I don't run too far from the track. I've gone strict vegan for a while before. I've run a full 26.2 mile marathon. I've gotten several trainings and certifications. And I've even learned how to do a new sport every now and again. This is for real and this is for me. And that's how you should feel about your journey. Another thing I did was to make sure that about 30% of my diet came from protein sources. Now, did you know that protein really does help to burn more calories throughout your day? Not only that, it can help you with appetite and portion controls. Now, there are so many protein sources out there, but I've shown you guys so many in my videos and I continue to try new ones. And there's one I wanna introduce you to. One of my favorites lately has been 310 Nutrition's plant-based meal replacement shakes, which contains a triplex protein blend. And they're helping to bring you guys today's video. So what's the difference in their protein and why is it so good? It's a bit more healthy with only 90 calories per serving. No sugar or artificial sweeteners. It's gluten and dairy free. It's keto friendly, non-GMO, and at least 15 grams of plant-based protein and a multitude of vitamins, minerals, superfoods, and probiotics in each serving. Y'all, they got so many options. I mean, so many. Chocolate, vanilla, salted caramel, which happens to be my favorite, y'all. I probably overindulge. Mocha, and the list goes on. I've even tried their on-the-go versions, which makes it easy to pack in my bag or take it with me wherever I go. I enjoy the taste, the nutrients, and the benefits, and it helps me get through my day real well. Check them out by going to 310nutrition.com and using my code and link down below in the information section and give them a try if you like. I know you ain't gonna be disappointed. Now, if you're a beginner or even someone that's more advanced in the game, there's other ways that you can easily add a bit of protein to your day. I love adding almonds to yogurt. I like nut butters with fruits or snacks, so like almond butter or even peanut butter. Hard-boiled eggs can never steer you wrong. Salmon, chicken breast, quinoa, Brussels sprouts, and more. I started caring more about the body I had and not so much the body I was going to have. What if you don't get the body that you think you should have by the end of this? What you gonna do, throw the whole body away or you gonna love what you got? Y'all see all these videos on self-care, skin care, body care, all the things I do there. I really start to take the advice of my mother and others around me that I looked up to that took care of themselves. Literally, I strengthened my self-care game and up my self-worth by caring for my body. I 
wanted to show my body that it was good enough for me right now and it gave back to me amazingly. So remember, you gonna get what you give it. I learned how to eat fewer carbs later in my day and how to eat better for my best results. Now y'all, when you start eating everything that everybody tell you to eat now, you know, this is for information purposes, but when you start doing that, you really do start to get off track and you find yourself on a diet that you didn't even know you were on. And I'm going to tell you, for some reason, anytime I told myself I was on a diet, I got worse. I kept digestible, faster acting carbs like fruit on hand in the earlier parts of my day so I could burn those calories or have a better chance of burning those calories and use that up for fuel. I also limited the amounts of rice, bread, sugar, and pasta in my diet and sometimes eliminated it for different days. I also kept around more complex carbs or fiber rich foods around like quinoa or even vegetables around so that I was able to keep my insulin levels low, especially later in the day. And y'all, you know, I'm just going to light up when I talk about intermittent fasting. You guys know that I didn't really even know I was using intermittent fasting until it became a thing but mainly I love to live by the 16-8 protocol which I have several videos linked down below and it's worked well for me y'all I also learned the art of the start when it came to exercise and what I mean by that is sometimes we be starting off doing too much like we be doing way too much meaning that we're probably going to stop because it takes too much out of us and we're not quite ready for that step yet I don't think y'all got this joke but I tell it all the time the first time I went to the gym I went to the gym I don't think you heard me I went I literally got up got dressed walked out my house walked into the gym looked around conquered my fear of being in there and walked out it was a whole hell of a lot more than I did the day before right so I was winning now, I ain't that gangster. Now, the reason why I say do that is because sometimes there's a lot of feeling of judgment when you walk into the gym and you're a larger person. And so I had to overcome that fear by just walking in and showing myself that I could do it. I also learned that I could rotate my exercises so my body didn't get used to things so quickly. Y'all know I had the art of the home workout. I loved doing things like videos, workout videos, apps, anything I could get my hands on. I even learned how to do cardio at home, lifting at home so that I did not have excuses for not going to the gym. I also love running outside and I love something I call around the world in the gym. Now, this is my thing. I like to spend about 10 minutes for about 30 minutes total on different exercise equipment. The smaller you start and the more you build, the more likely you'll feel success and the more you might wanna keep going. So start little and learn the art of the start. The next thing is I got rid of the things in my home that had no place there. And a lot of us like to play these games like, oh, if I keep it in the house, I'm not gonna necessarily eat it knowing good and gosh darn well you're going to eat it so I had to get that stuff out of my house I'm gonna be honest if something is in my house and I like it I'm gonna eat it let's be real with ourselves yes I have discipline but a part of discipline is knowing where your discipline ends so just think about the fact that you should cleanse your home or probably cleanse your home of things that shouldn't be there in the first place and in order for me to be very smart I just keep snacks around that have a lot of fiber and protein in them so I stay less hungry y'all get this I often take measurements instead of my weight a lot of times I weigh myself every now and again and I've told you guys this in the past because the scale is the dang on devil sometimes you get on that thing and then it's wonderful the next five minutes you get on it and it's like you gain 20 pounds just sitting down like what happened your body changes and so you drink water you eat food and you might be measuring yourself at different times of the day which causes your weight to look like it's really fluctuating when it's not so I like to look at measurements I like to take a tape measure and measure myself and see where I am truly and also I like to make sure that when I go to the doctor's office yearly that I get a reading of my weight from the previous year so I can see how it's changed and compared according to the same scale you know so nothing has changed and then I know that or if something has changed and I need to get on the ball with that I can check on that y'all I have always taken photos and do comparison shots when I post those pictures of before and afters they're not just for you they're also for me and also I take small pictures throughout the months so I like to take those pictures and look at them truly and I ain't talking Instagram angles we ain't talking about this and that and you know that one right there where you look a little smaller and it is nothing wrong with that but when you're really and truly trying to see if anything has changed with you or with your body you need to make sure you're taking head on photos it helps you stay real with yourself I can even remember when I did gain about 10 to like 12 pounds back 
in my my journey is what I call it I could tell that I could see that in pictures and I could be real about it and I also didn't feel as bad about it because I was tracking that when I started to look at pictures I was like wow you've come a long way your body is saying something different from what your mind is telling you so all of these are wonderful little ways for you to keep your weight in check another thing I've learned to do is to test myself to see if I'm really hungry if you can't fill up or if I couldn't fill up on vegetables or protein and feel okay about what I was going to eat and I was just being picky or nitpicky I probably was bored and then on top of that I was probably thirsty when I found myself being like I'm so hungry for pizza like you're not hungry for pizza when you hungry you hungry right so when I tested myself for that I would say hmm if you're hungry could you eat protein could you eat you know a nice fibrous uh, meal or something like a snack and if the answer was no I needed to drink some water because I was probably very much thirsty that's another way to test yourself through my weight loss journey I also learned that I was quite limited in what I considered a reward for my good behavior with the way that I was going on my journey you know my journey of transformation you want to make sure that you do other things like enjoy some makeup enjoy a new hairstyle go to an aquarium a new museum Museum, sign up for a new gym or a class do something that's outside of having a new cupcake or you know a whole cake you want to do things that will really give you and build on experiences that were different from when you were heavier or different from when you wanted to lose weight so that you don't continue to attach food to something that's so good for you and that you have to have as a reward for everything great you do for yourself last but certainly not least I learned how to stay busy and keep folks around around me in my circle that kept me motivated and on my prize and goal. Sometimes we don't stay on our game because we don't schedule workouts or the way that we'll meal plan and prep around our schedules and appointments. We don't make time for it. Look, my workout equipment and everything I use during the day stays out. All my workout clothes, all that gear is very much visible for me. So I know the drill when I get up in the morning. And the people around me in my life, even if they don't have a rigorous exercise regimen like me, they they still keep me on my job. My babe even works out with me when he's with me and makes sure that we stay accountable to each other for our fitness goals. So you want to build a tribe of supporters and not yes men when it comes to this. I have people around me that are real with me. Like if they say they it look like I'm gaining weight, I probably am because they see it and they keep me accountable, not in a mean way, not them people. You don't want to keep them around, but the people that are truly going to hold you accountable and care about you and the work that you're putting in. And if you got to build a new tribe then do it so y'all I hope today's video was beneficial for you and I hope that you're going to really benefit from the ways that I lost a hundred pounds in 10 months and have kept it off for 15 years so where they do that at your girl is out here you feel me make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it because we all know someone that can use it and also subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up. Oh, 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 oh,